Whoa. Welcome back to the Tesla, guys. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, we're actually driving into work today. Yeah, uh, ever since I moved, I've been metroing a lot, but uh, today, today is a treat. We are taking the Tesla because we got a wedding downtown, which means I got to take a bunch of stuff. And anyways, let's um, let's see what's going on with the Tesla. Oh yeah, we got we got three tire pressure things on now, so we really got to figure this out, don't we? Let's roll. Welcome back to the vlog guys. Today we are gonna talk about one of the most underrated features. And and you'll kind of see why in a second because it's sort of like very specific situational type of things that would cause you to use it. But I'm running into one of those things this weekend and it is an awesome feature, probably one of the best features. I mean, granted my car came well, well specced. It had the cold weather package. It came with the gorgeous white Alcantara headliner. We got the sunroof. That's fantastic too. Um, the power lift gate, all that good stuff. But this feature, I think, is probably better than most of those. Um, so I, I guess let's just get right to it. So, in my humble opinion, the most underrated yet one of the best features of this car. It's valet, valet mode. It is, it's valet mode, honestly. And I think you'll start to see why in just a second because valet mode on this car is a software thing. You don't just hand someone a valet key. It's just a software uh, thing. So you go into your, uh, your center touchscreen and just turn on valet mode. And the only way to turn it off is with a passcode. Now you're probably thinking valet mode, it's pretty boring. It doesn't do a ton, but it, it does just enough to make it very significant, very helpful and honestly very cool that it's just like a little software thing um, and that Tesla's able to do it in this way and so just just bear with me for a second and let's just dive right into the details of valet mode and why I think it is one of the most underrated yet one of the best features of this car all right so as I said it is a software thing so if you come up here to your profile see mine says Kyle with a little person if you tap that you have this valet mode and all you do is tap it you enter in your PIN number. All right, so you get a little PIN thing, valet mode. Once you put your PIN in, you go ahead and hit enable. And just like that, you're in valet mode. And what this does is you can see how the speed is limited to 80 miles per hour, so the valet people can't go flying around in your nice Tesla. Or sorry, the, 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 uh, the speed is limited to, I think, 70 miles an hour. It's either 60 or 70, but there's no 70. So I think it's 70, not 100% on that. The power, the power is limited to 80 kilowatts. So if you're trying to do like that crazy acceleration, it stops you at 80 kilowatts instead of the normal like 320, 330 or whatever a kilowatt. So much slower accelerating, much lower top speed. Now if we come over here, normally this button right here opens the glove box. That's locked. And then last but not least, as you can see, we can still open the, uh, the rear lift gate. We can open the sunroof, we can vent it, we can open the charge port, but you cannot open the frunk. Yeah, it's the little things guys, but you can basically ensure that the valet is not doing crazy accelerations. Uh, your car is nicely locked. There's limited top speed, so they're just driving around the hotel, parking or whatever. They shouldn't need crazy top speed. Um, and then you can obviously lock your glove box, which is usually where like insurance, registration, or house keys, or whatever you want to put in there so that you don't have to keep on your person or loosen your car, change, money, whatever it is. And then the frunk, it's a nice way to have a lockable trunk but you still obviously have your rear trunk, which you can use and the uh, valet can use if they're loading your car and all that stuff. Um, but then anything you wanna lock away, you just put in your front trunk and you're good to go. So I will say that I think this is a very underrated feature. It is a very cool feature and, and well, yeah, there's just that. So now to turn it off, uh, once again, as you can see at the very top here, if you tap on valet, it says valet mode. You go ahead and enter your pin. There's a disable button if you tap that. Bada bing, bada boom. We're back to uh, Kyle. Just goes right back to your profile. 
And then as you can see up here, there's no limit on the uh, kilowatts for power output and there's no limit on the 150 mile an hour top speed that my car has and obviously valet mode has disappeared from above the zero and it doesn't stop there so when your car is on and if you uh, look down here right now it's in park but if I put the car back into drive so if we come to the Tesla mobile app we can clearly see that uh, it says driving so the car will actually tell you the speed and um, well let's put it back into valet mode real quick Oh yeah, you have to be in park, by the way. So if you're not in park, you can't put it in or take it out of valet mode. So if we go back into park, now valet mode is an option. All right, so we got valet mode up there, valet mode up here. And uh, well, it doesn't say valet in here, but it does say parked. If we uh, put it in drive, it does get rid of the passcode when it's in valet mode. So that is something to know. That way the valet doesn't have to put your passcode in. Um, but down here you can see it says driving because we're in drive and controls say valet mode so in valet mode you still have access to these controls and as you can see valet mode is on which you can turn off if the car is not in drive so and last but not least here we go on the map so you still have access to all of these things except you cannot go to the browser or entertainment uh, so they gray those out when you're in valet mode, as you can see, still in valet mode. And also, if you notice, there's no navigation button up here. So you can see the map, but you can't navigate anywhere, which means if you have your home address programmed into the nav, if we go ahead and take it out of valet mode, let's go ahead and uh, put it in the park, tap valet, uh, and then if we go ahead and disable, you can see navigation comes back up. So, when, so now navigate is available. If I hit navigate, I can tap home and it will navigate to my home address. It says Kyle and you see that nav bar if you put it into valet mode, wait for it, it disappears and you got valet. So that way you know that people aren't gonna be able to find your address. Home link is also grayed out. Um, you can kind of see it there, but Homelink is not available. Homelink is a way to basically sync your garage door with your Tesla. So all of those things disappear. You don't have to worry about any of that. Whereas if you were in another car that had a garage door opener, um, you had navigation in your car that could go to your house. Theoretically, the, the valet could take your car, go to your house, rob your house because they have the garage door opener to get in, all that stuff. But not with this. With the Tesla, they thought of that. Nav is grayed out, so you can't get to your home address. Home link is grayed out, so you can't even tap to open the garage door. The glove box is locked. The front frunk is locked. You can track where people are, how fast they're going, and where they are in, in the app on your phone. And, uh, well, it electronically limits the speed to 60 or 70 miles an hour and around 80 kilowatts of power. So very, very neat functionality in valet mode, and I, I think it's fantastic. So tomorrow when I'm at the hotel, I'm, I'm going to valet it and park it there for the night because there's not really any, any great parking that's inexpensive at the wharf. So, yeah. But valet mode comes in clutch, and, uh, yeah, it's it's the little things. It's the little things that this car has, especially with being able to just push a software update, have access to it. But I think we're going to leave it there. So if you guys are enjoying the content, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time, thanks for watching. And this is why you don't drive in D.C. during rush hour. Also this. <laughs>